Hello everybody, Dan Clauser, President of the Big Vision Foundation, out here behind the scoreboard in left field of Charlie Wagner Field. Wanted to give everybody a look at what will uh, be happening out here during a game. So uh, this area here is where our out of town scores will be, which are actually the scores from the other three fields at the complex will be here, just like Fenway has the American League scores. We'll end up having the scores for Calavito Field, Wirtz Field, and Kurowski Field here. So uh, we'll end up having a little ledge up here uh, to be able to access the top score. And then these two will actually be able to be accessed from the pit here. Um, and then as we, uh, we go up here, this is gonna end up being a two-man operation because um, you're actually covering a lot of space. So you'll be getting some exercise if you're operating the scoreboard. Um, this panel here shows for uh, the errors. So if it's uh, error on the third baseman, E5, and uh, turn it off, flip back, pretty self-explanatory. Balls, strikes, and outs, very, uh, very easy to, uh, to see how they work. Just toggle switches. Question whether it's a hit or an error, obviously hit here. We just showed you the error. Um, then as batters come up to the plate, you have the master switch here, so that'll be off. You set your batter. Um, if, uh, if it's a single digit number, that actually stays off and you'd go to here. So if you got uh, Ted Williams batting, you'd just go to nine, flip it on, and number nine will show up. If it's a double digit player that's batting, say uh, Wade Boggs, number 26, flip it there and then both, both switches go on at that point. So uh, pretty nifty, um, not, uh, not rocket science or anything, but certainly uh, pretty clever how it comes together. So our guys at Bartouche took care of that. So this here kind of be, uh, we'll have blanks in here and the scoreboard operator will actually, the inning that the game is in will be the one inning that's that's out. So this will pretty much be where he gets his information from, um, looking out the one open slot on the field. So that'll uh, that'll be where he uh, figures out what's going on in the game and how to how to keep up with that. So um, as you come down here, um, future plans here are actually for uh, for a deck to be placed here and this will actually become handicapped seating. Um, will actually be a, again, a pretty nice view. I'm sure we'll see uh, quite a few parents this year be up here just standing watching the game. Um, so uh, very nice view of the field from here. Pretty, uh, pretty nice vantage point. And again, if you figure we're uh, where this bar is here is pretty much where the deck will be um, for the future. So that'll get us up another another five or six feet from where where we're standing now. Um, again, making it a pretty good uh, pretty pretty good vantage point to watch a uh, a youth baseball game. Um, come down here around the bullpen. Got our uh, our screening spread in here now. Um, they just need to be leveled. Turf will actually get installed in the uh, over top of the bullpens here. And um, pitchers mounds will be getting installed probably toward the end of next week. So uh, here's where the mound will be. Um, obviously pitching that direction with uh, the catcher up against the wall. This will get leveled out good. And uh, like I said, turf will go on top of this. Um, and then the home plate area will actually be able to adjust home plate for uh, 60, 50, and 46 foot pitching heights. So mound will probably end here to give room for the pitcher to access the field, coming across here and heading to the mound. So warning track is complete at this point. Um, there's some warning track that needs to be done actually in the third base dugout area 
Uh, that'll be done Monday. Um, everything inside the field is done, and we went with a red warning track mix here, um, which really kind of sets this field apart from our other fields where we have gray warning track mix. Um, but uh, this stuff here really packs nicely. Um, you can tell just by standing on it here how well it packs um, compared to the gray stuff. So it's really, really nice and adds a uh, real nice uh, sight line once you get green grass on this thing. So um, Monday or Tuesday, we'll have sod getting rolled out here. Um, that'll be our Kentucky bluegrass. Got the sprinkler heads are in, working, ready to go. And uh, just uh, at this point, just waiting on good weather and getting ready to finish this thing up. So uh, won't be too long now till we're actually playing baseball out here. So we'll keep you updated. We've got our Mother's Day tournament this weekend, the Works Mother's Day Pink Bat Face-Off. Um, so we've got 16 teams coming in this weekend. We'll actually be across the street using George Bradley Field as well this weekend with Wagner being out of service yet. Um, so you've got a single elimination tournament tomorrow, eight teams in each bracket, 12-year-olds and 14-year-olds. And uh, should be a good day of baseball tomorrow. And then uh, give everybody a day to spend with mom on Sunday. So uh, keep checking us out on YouTube, Facebook, and as always on our website, bigvisionfoundation.org. Be sure to click on our engraved brick program and go, go ahead and get yourself an engraved brick to be put at our entrance. Thank you.